At 6.01 p.m. on January 6th, after he spent hours watching a violent mob besiege, attack, and invade our capital, Donald Trump tweeted, but he did not condemn the attack. Instead, he justified it. Right. These are the things and oh, events play the video. that happen, he said, when a sacred landslide election victory is so unceremoniously and viciously stripped away from great patriots who've been badly and unfairly treated for so long. As you will see in the hearings to come, President Trump believed his supporters at the Capitol, and I quote, were doing what they should be doing. This is what he told his staff as they pleaded with him to call off the mob, to instruct his supporters to leave. Over a series of hearings in the coming weeks, you will hear testimony live and on video nice. from more than half a dozen former White House staff in the <laughs> Trump administration, all of whom were in the West Wing of the White House on January 6th. You will hear testimony that, quote, the president did not really want to put anything out calling off the riot Obviously. or asking his supporters to leave. Of course. You will hear that President Trump was yelling and, quote, really angry at advisors who told him he needed to be doing something more. And what aware of the rioters' take? chance to hang Mike Pence, the president responded with this sentiment, quote, maybe our supporters have the right idea. Wow. Mike Pence, quote, deserves it. Oh my God, that can't be You will hear true. evidence that President Trump refused for hours to do what his staff, his family, and many of his other advisors begged him to do, immediately instruct his supporters to stand down and evacuate the Capitol.